Okay, let's go ahead and get started on 13A. We're going to be using uh, some arrays. So first we're going to have to offset this line over 3, this line over 3, and then draw a line down that goes to the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So O enter, 3 enter. And then draw a line down the middle. It's going to be border. Make sure you have midpoint on to O snap. <clears throat> o snap midpoint. Let's trim these bottoms real quick. Okay. There's that. These need to be center. I think center, I guess, right? Yeah, they're center. Okay, and then we're going to have to draw a line that goes through the middle of this part too as well. So it's actually the middle of this box. So here's what we're going to have to do to figure out. I guess we got it here. Just go like this. Uh, let's get back to, if I can get it to select the center line. Let's just go here, midpoint. Turn on that ortho, and then perpendicular, and I'm just going to click on it and drag it so it's one complete line across. So there is our line like that. Okay, so we have that. Now, we're going to have to draw two circles now. The circle sizes looks like they're going to be 1.75 and 1.5. And they are what layer? Looks like they're center lines too. Okay, so circle. 1.75. 1.5. Okay, now we're going to have to do a polygon right here. It says it's going to be quarter inch, which is 0.25. So let's go ahead and do that. So, polygon, it's going to ask you how many sides you want. We want three sides. Find the center, it's going to be right here on this intersection. Inscribe, circumscribe, uh, it shouldn't matter, I'm just going to use inscribed. And the size of it is 0.25, enter. Okay, so there's our rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and copy that so we have it on those three things over there. Okay, so copy, copy. Grab it from the center, copy it here, copy it here. Right? Okay, good, yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put these, uh, I guess we'll do that next. Let's go ahead and do the array. So how many circle or yeah number of items is twelve right there it says okay using the polar array and then what else does it say default base point rotate copies yes let's see what we can do so we get the array polar select object which is just a triangle center point is going to be the center of this and Rotate item is copied, yeah. Okay, so we click on preview. Oh, I didn't type in the number, did I? Uh, 12, that's what I forgot. Preview now, okay. Yeah, that looks good now. Okay, so, oops, so we'll go click OK. All right, so next one now. This one says default base point, rotate copies, no. So I'll show you what you have to do for that one. So array button, select object, enter, center point, click on the center here. And then we want 12 items, yeah. Rotate item is copied, this time no, so deselected. Do not choose that. So go we'll preview, yep, that's what we want. Click OK. All right, looks good. Let's get this last one over here. So deselect base point, rotate copies, no center point object base point okay so watch me on this one array select objects uh, center point it's gonna be 
is it there? Sensor array object base point. Okay, so we click here. Come down here. Click that on. Go to more. And then where it says take this off. And then where it says right here. Let me double check one more time. No. Okay, so we got to actually have that one off. So this one's off. This is off. You click here. Click right here on the intersection. Okay, so I think we have it now. We selected this one and we selected the rectangle. We clicked this one, then we clicked in the center. Made sure we had 12. We unchecked that one, make sure nothing was checked there. We made sure nothing was checked here, and then we clicked on this button, then we went to the intersection of those lines. So we go preview, and then that's what we want. Okay, so now we just got to go ahead and put the. Uh, dimensions in so I'm going to put two dimensions on those with those threes so dim so I guess we're going to have to use, use perpendicular so use perpendicular I have it on we didn't come up yeah, I don't like that hold on we're going to go what's going on with this guy I'm going to get rid of that endpoint. Oh, I think what's messing up was the, the midpoint on it. Okay, so get rid of the midpoint. So now when we do it, watch. There's perpendicular there. Alright, we're going to have to do something special on that so we get those lines out of the way. So watch, I'll show you how to do it. Okay. So see how the lines are on top? The lines are on top. So just go ahead and click on that. Click on that. Click on the very last button. Go to override lines. Make sure we suppress this one and this one. You notice how the lines disappear, right? So that's what happens. So click OK. Close. Come over to the update button. Click on it. Click on it. Hit enter. And then those lines disappeared. So we don't want those. OK. Uh, next up is the center of array. So let's do one and then we'll copy that two more times. Center of array. So dimension, multi-leader. Let's get rid of that ortho. It's okay if you put it like this right here. If I can get it caps on. Center of Array. Oh, they didn't have caps on all the way, did they? Okay, now we go ahead and copy it. Put it here. And then we'll put it here as well. Okay, so we got those two, three. Um, let's do this one. This radius and this radius. So a radius button or a dimension radius, same thing. There's the 1.5. There's the 1.75. Center of polygon we've got to do now. Dimension multi-leader. Center for polygon. Okay, so if you have 2008 or it's actually 2009 or higher, it's going to put a line in your multi-leader. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Um, let's go to object base point
then we gotta get the text default base point rotate copies. Let's just go ahead and copy this and then put it up here and then we'll just change the text default base point. Or actually it's a two line, so we're gonna do this now. A button, make a little box, default. We'll do it, do it a different layer too so we can see a default base point. Caps is all on. Okay, this is, let's make this text light. Or text heavy, or I guess we'll go text heavy. Text heavy is fine. Um, let's see. Let's just go ahead and copy this. No, no, okay. Copy it across. Turn on it ortho to get it straight, though. I'll move this guy over a little bit. Okay, this one's a no. This one's a no. Okay, so... Yeah, don't worry about the box on it. All right, looks good. We'll leave it like that.